when we're talking about bone mineral density, we need to really focus on a couple basic factors. So when we talk about, when we see patients all the time, they're talking about, well, I'm going to the gym to lift weights. And most people who have bone issues are lifting weights. This is an eight pound weight, whether you're doing eight, 10 pounds. Most people are lifting weights that are within their comfort zone because there's a very low risk of injury. But on the other side, there's not a lot of benefit to it with respect to building bone density. So I'm gonna talk about a piece of equipment that we use in the Be Strong for Life system. This is the biodensity machine. There's a couple factors that play into, fact, in, into play here. One is the position, one is the intensity, and one is the time. Those are the three factors that really can play an important role on developing bone density and improving your bone density. So the first one we're gonna talk about is position. So if we look at a weight, if I'm doing a curl, most people are going to start with a curl here, they're going to curl it up this way, and they're going to bring it down. Well, we're going to start at the weak position here. Somewhere in the middle zone here is going to be our strong position. And then when we get up to the top, it's our weak position again. So whether it doesn't matter what piece of equipment you're using at the gym or you're doing free weights, you're going to go through a weak zone, a strong zone, and a weak zone again. Well, we want to find that strong zone to within one degree. So when I look at the biodensity machine, we can actually move, whether it's moving the seat position up, moving the bar up, whatever we need to do, whether a patient is five foot or whether they're six foot five, we can customize it to find that strongest position within one degree. And now, we talked about position. Now I want to talk about intensity and time. So when someone goes to the gym and they're working out, their workouts might be 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. They think the more time they spend at the gym, the more intense it's going to be. Well, they sometimes get confused of intensity versus effort. So we think about, let's just look about running, walking in those terms and look at intensity and time. So if we go for a long walk, we can walk for hours uh, and that's not very intense because we can do it for hours. And then we can go for a jog and as we pick up the pace, our time that we can do that activity shortens. If I were to do a sprint, obviously I'm going full out, that might last 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever that is. On the biodensity machine, we have different controls for each program that we can change the time from 5 seconds to 10 seconds, uh, even up to 20 seconds. But we start everyone at 5 seconds. So we have the duration of the uh, activity. So there's four exercises that we're going to go through. Is We already talked about the strongest position. So now we're going to be a short duration. So we're going to be at a five second mark. And that five seconds allows us to produce a lot of intensity. So when we talk about short duration, high intensity, and uh, maximum, or the best position or strongest position, that's what we're talking about. So what we're talking about right now is just, is just finishing that uh, short duration of five seconds. So the last part, part of it, we talked about position, we talked about the duration, we know it's five seconds. So now it's the intensity. So I was just talking to a patient the other day who's a bodybuilder. And the bodybuilder would do, uh, say they were working their chest or arms or whatever body part they were doing, squats, they would do 12 sets at 10 reps each. That's 120 reps. Well, 120 reps, that's a lot of effort but it's not that intense because they did 120 of them. So if that person were to go from 120 and then all of a sudden one day only did one rep, well, we know that's intense. Well, this is like putting so much weight on the bar that you can't actually move the bar because it's isometric. You're pushing against a, a, an object that doesn't move. So the computer is going to measure. It would be the same thing as saying, we've got so much weight on the bar, you can't move it. But let's just try and move it, and if we could measure that intensity, 
And that's what the system is doing. So we've got the strongest position, short duration, high intensity. And said high intensity, which puts multiple loads of body weight through the bone tissue that actually stimulates the bones for improved bone mineral density or improving your osteoporosis or osteopenia uh, condition.